grab the x-ray stuff, we're gonna take an x-ray of the swimsuit's back. So it was toward the end of the summer that we were starting to come over. We've been coming pretty much weekly since then. Yeah, a lot of people, even just their regular kind of vaccines and maintenance care, they hadn't been able to have in at least over a year. People feel a bit more comforted that they've got some support when they have emergencies come up. So yeah, people have just been really lovely and really, really grateful that we're here. Sometimes you just need the vet to be there, right? And so that was, I think, one of the biggest challenges we faced is emergencies. It was really hard to deal with. Like we had a couple cases where the horse was paralyzed and you're just kind of stuck. We couldn't wait for 12 hours. She was in agony and arriving. It was not nice. So um, we called a, we, we had to um, shoot her, which was, 700 horses in West Quebec no longer had a vet. So after we had to put Crescent down, Dr. Eastman Wellsford was our first vet for Trooper as of May. And um, he came out and he was marvelous. And I think I was one of the first people to uh, to call them up to come out and because I had at that point just bought a horse and I needed to have, uh, you know, routine things done. So it was really, really helpful to have people come to on property rather than me having to load the horses up and take them to another clinic in Ontario, which is what I had been doing in the interim. Oh, so glad. 